God's mercy is like a river that flows endlessly, washing away our sins, restoring our hope, and reviving our souls. This quote reminds us of the constant flow of God's grace, uniting and preparing us for the fullness of life in Him. Dear brothers and sisters, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12 to 22, St. Paul paints a vivid picture of how we are once alienated from God. You were separate from Christ, excluded from the citizenship in Israel, without hope and without God in the world. But God's mercy is like an endless river washes away the barriers of sin and restores us to life in Him. Christ is our peace, breaking down the walls of hostility and uniting us into one body. This powerful transformation calls us to reflect on how God's mercy brings us from separation to reviving our souls and restoring our hope. Consider St. Damien of Melaka, who lived this message by serving lepers cast out by society. Through his ministry, he broke through societal divisions and became a living witness of God's mercy, restoring hope to those in despair. In Luke chapter 12, verse 35 to 38, Jesus shifts our focus to the necessity of readiness and vigilance. He says, Be dressed, ready for service. Keep your lamps burning, calling us to live in constant anticipation of His return. Just as God's mercy flows endlessly, we must stay prepared like servants awaiting the Master's return. This means living wisely, faithfully, always alert to God's call in our lives. Mother Teresa exemplified this readiness. She lived every day in service constantly prepared to answer God's call, reflecting His mercy in her work with the poor. Her life, like a lamp burning bright, was a testament to the power of living in readiness for God's presence, from division to unity. Reflect on where you may experience division or separation. Seek reconciliation and allow God's mercy to restore our hope and unity in relationships. Secondly, living with readiness. Evaluate your spiritual readiness. Are you living in a way that prepares you for Christ's return? Thirdly, seeking peace in Christ. Just as Christ has broken down walls of division, seek ways to promote peace in your communities, letting God's mercy flow through your life. Let us make prayer. Lord, we thank you for your boundless mercy that restores our hope and unites us. Help us with vigilance. Always be prepared to serve you and others in love. Live Jesus.